Carnegie Mellon University have made more than 2,000 motion capture files available and free to use. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to link one of the files to this model of a stick man that I've been developing. Carnegie Mellon University have released more than 2,000 motion capture files that are free for all uses. Bruce Hahn has converted the files to the BVH format that can be imported into Blender, if I click the link to his site. He's created Motion Builder friendly versions, 3D Max friendly versions and DAS friendly versions. I found the DAS versions gave the best results. If you scroll down, there are the zipped BVH files. You need to download at least one of these. Inside each zip file are folders with the motion capture files in and an index file which lists what each file does. But before I input a file into Blender, I first open it in BV Hacker, which is a free utility which can be downloaded from bvhacker.com. I'll put links to all the websites used at my website. Click the center button to center the model and the zoom out button to zoom back. Now we get a more complicated armature than we need. For instance, we've got a left eye and a right eye. If I right click on the head bone and remove descendants, it gets rid of the eyes. Similarly, I've got fingers. If I right click on the hand, remove descendants, it gets rid of them. Right click on the left hand, remove descendants. Now the motion is captured at 120 frames per second, which gives a lot of detail, but a very big file. If I click half the sample, that goes down to approximately 60 frames per second, half it again, 30 frames per second, half it again, 15 frames per second. If I click play, we still get a smooth motion. I've made all the changes I'm going to make with BV Hacker. Before I save, I note that the default pose for the armature is the classic T pose with vertical legs and horizontal arms. File, save. Go to your working directory, and I'm going to save that as walk2 underscore 2, and save. We need a stickman model in the T pose. If I open this model, which I made in previous tutorials, you can make it yourself or download it from my website. If I select an arm bone, hold down shift and select the other arm bones, and go in the pose menu, clear transform all, we get the T pose. If I select the skin and click the modifiers button and apply the armature modifier and I'm going to delete the subdivision surface modifier. Now if I select the armature, go into object mode and delete it, we have the T pose. To import the armature, file import motion capture. Go to the folder where you saved the file edited in BV Hacker and select it. Set the scale to 0 0.05 and import. Go into edit mode, select the properties of the armature and turn X-ray on. Press A on the keyboard to select all bones, G to grab, Z for the Z direction and move the armature down. I'm going to type minus 1.3 and enter. Press S to scale to shrink the armature, 0.9 and enter. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a window. Drag to close the tool shelf, change the view to the top view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. To adjust the legs, I need to connect the bones. Select a foot bone, hold down shift, select the lower leg bone, hold down control, press P and click connected. Select the lower leg bone, hold down shift, select the upper leg bone, control P, connected. Select the other foot bone, hold down shift, select the lower leg bone, control P, connected. Select the lower leg bone, hold down shift, select the upper leg bone, control P, connected. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, select a knee joint, press G to grab followed by Z for the Z direction and move that up 0.25 and enter. Select the other knee joint, G, Z, 0.25 and enter. Select a foot, press G to grab followed by Z for the Z direction and move that up 0.5 and enter. Select the other foot, G, Z, 0.5, enter. 
Zoom in on the head bone using the mouse wheel. Pan, shift and mouse wheel. We have a small head bone left from where we deleted the eyes. Zoom in enough to be able to select it. Click the bone property, set the roll to be zero. Select the tail of the bone. Zoom back, press G to grab and move it down. Zoom back, change the view to the right view. Pan up, shift and mouse wheel, press G to grab and make the head bone much bigger. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the window. Go into pose mode. Press A on the keyboard to select all bones. In the pose menu, clear transform all. Select the skin. Hold down shift and select a bone. Hold down control and press P and set the parent to armature deform with automatic weights. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Click play and the stick man performs the motion. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and middle mouse button. I don't want the T-pose at the beginning so I'm going to simply remove the keyframe. Now if I rewind the T-pose is gone. The motion is a bit quick so I'm opening a new window. I'm going to make the new window a dope sheet window and I'm going to scale the keyframes S to enter. Now if I set the total length of the animation to 75 and press play, the speed of the motion is about right. If I click the armature settings and turn x-ray off and set bone display to wire. I'll end the tutorial there. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to link the 2000 or so other motion capture files to this rig quickly and easily. As usual, I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.